a long time ago, there was a prophecy by the prophet Isaiah. And in this prophecy, it says that there would be a child being born to save the world. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. King Herod had now learned of this prophecy by the wise men, had, had said that the Messiah had come and that the baby was now born. So now King Herod was now filled with thoughts of losing his throne, and began plotting the Savior's destruction. What? Are you kidding me? How could this be happening? With all due respect, Your Majesty, this is not that big of a deal. I mean, how could a small baby defeat you? No big deal? No big deal? What if they decide to choose this baby over me and to dethrone me? I can't lose my castle. My king, please stop being so dramatic. Nestor, I'm not being dramatic. Your Highness, breathe into this bag. <sighs> All right, I'm feeling a little better. All I'm saying is this can be taken care of lickety split. I mean, we'll just send someone to go find the baby and then come tell us. Yes, my king, listen to logic. Okay, I'm listening. We'll send some soldiers to go find the baby and then bring it back. Then all your worries will be over. No problem of an uprising. Yes, yes. What you're saying is absolutely logical, reasonable, and rational. My king, why does it matter so much? I mean, it's just a baby. I think all those words mean the same thing. Of course they do, Zyra. Only a rational king would know the difference. You know what? Um, never mind. Focus, please. We have my throne. Oh, wait. I mean, your throne to save. We'll find the three most bravest, the most noble, the most valiant warriors in all the lands. Then we'll get rid of this problem. Mwahaha! ha 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 Yes. Send in Adira, Humbert, and Lonzo. But, but, sir. Those soldiers weren't what I had in mind. I was asking. Come now, Nesher. Those soldiers are perfect for the task. I mean, they don't call me King Herod for nothing, do they? Of course, you're right. I know. <laughs> <laughs> look at the time, your, look at the time, Your Majesty. We need to go and make a massage appointment. Yes, you're so exhausting. This throne is actually not that comfortable. <laughs> We're absolutely. <laughs> Doomed. Alonzo, the most fearsome warriors. Can you believe this, guys? The king sent for us. Oh, why, hello to our wonderful king. Whoa, stop it right there. I am not the king. I am Nestor, his royal advisor. And unfortunately, the king wants you three soldiers to go looking for the prophesied baby Messiah. Once you have found the baby, bring it back to the palace. But, sir, what do you want with the baby Messiah? Um, oh, we, uh, uh, we... We want to wish the Messiah good luck. Oh, thank goody gumdrops. When we get back, we're gonna have a party. Party. Please take this mission seriously. The fate of the kingdom rests in your hands. There's no need to worry, because we'll ace this special mission. Come on, boys.
that look like a baby? Yeah, a baby rock. Dude, that is a baby rock. Nice. Guys, we're looking for a baby messiah. Oh, yeah. That does sort of sound familiar. This baby will be small and boring, so keep your eyes open. Well, speaking of keep your eyes open, you guys won't believe what's coming our way. Guys, you won't believe it. The baby Messiah was born. Wait, what's going on? You mean you haven't heard about the baby Messiah? Wait, you also know about the baby? Yeah, I was there the night he was born. How do you know about the baby? I'm tired, I have no food, I have no water, I don't know what to do, and I'm stressing out. Well, these angels appeared out of nowhere, and they told me to follow this star to the city of Bethlehem. Wait, wait, let me get this straight. So, a bunch of angels appeared out of nowhere, sang a little song, told you to follow a star, and it led you to Bethlehem. Yeah. And you followed the star? Yeah, it's true. I followed the star to the city of Bethlehem, then I found the baby Messiah laying there so peacefully and quiet for the first time. I finally felt hope. Well, thank you so much, Shepard. Could you tell us how to get there? Sure, we make a right, then a left, then the never left, then the never right, then up some stairs, then quickly turn right, then about square root hall. Then okay, okay, thank you so much, Shepard. But I think we'll be able to get there. Come on, soldiers, let's continue our special mission. Zyra, any word for those soldiers yet? Not yet, Nesher. Ha, huh, I knew these soldiers wouldn't get the job done right. This is a dire situation. Why does it matter so much? I mean, it's just a baby. Don't you get it, Zyra? The people are calling this baby the king of Israel. If the people create an uprising, then Herod wouldn't have a throne anymore. Ah, I guess that makes sense. I guess? It's a big issue. If King Herod has to leave, then we have to. Then you and I will be nobodies. No, we cannot let this happen. Let me know if you hear anything from the soldiers. <gasps> aye, aye, Captain.
when this huge thing came after me. Dude, that was me. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Why were you looking in the stable? That's no place for a king. I'm sorry, did I hear something about a king and a stables? Sure did, you know anything about it? Yeah, that was in my stables. What? Tell us. As you know, Caesar Augustus decreed that everyone had to come to their hometown to be taxed. So Mary and Joseph came here to Bethlehem. Excuse me, but why did you put them in your stables? Yeah, shouldn't a king be born in a palace? Well, when they first came here, I didn't believe that the baby was the Messiah, and I didn't want to make our other guest feel uncomfortable. <laughs> That's so sad. <laughs> there was no room <laughs> for the baby Messiah? <laughs> so what was the baby like? Unfortunately, I never got to meet him, as Mary and Joseph had to leave. What? How? He was in your stables. I regret it every day. Just because I didn't have faith and belief, I missed out on the biggest miracle right in my backyard. So because you had no faith in something, something you didn't believe in, you missed out. Yeah, that's what happened to me. And I hope one day I get to meet the Messiah face to face. Come on, soldiers. Let's continue our special mission. I can't wrap my mind around it. Oh, yeah. I wonder how King Herod's going to profit through this donation. Whoa, King Herod? Yeah. King Herod sent us to bring the baby Messiah back to his palace. Oh, no. You cannot tell King Herod. He's evil. He will destroy hope. Oh, that's why that Nasher guy was being so patient. He was like, I'm going to wish the baby Messiah. Good luck. <laughs> Come on, boys. Let's continue our special mission. Bye, innkeeper. Bye, innkeeper. Adira, are we going to the palace now to tell King Herod? I don't know. Do we ever really know if he was he's the Messiah? I mean, this guy was born in the stables. If he really was to save us, then why didn't he make some big fancy entrance? Yeah. That's how King Herod would have done it. Didn't you hear the innkeeper, guys? If you don't believe, then you'll miss out on the miracle. At first, it's not going to make sense. We just need to believe.
Are we going to the palace now to tell King Herod? We're all gonna die! I can't die, I don't wanna die, please! It's okay, pull yourself together. Look, I don't know what we're gonna do, but we gotta figure out something. Well, if we tell King Herod and he finds the baby, then hope will be doomed like the innkeeper said. We have to protect the Messiah at all costs. What, what are King Herod's soldiers doing here? We're here to find the promised Messiah. Are you a wise man? Of course he is. Look at his scanty clothes and his robes. <laughs> wise man, do you know about the baby? Before I answer your question, may, may I ask what you guys have heard so far? That there has been a baby born and some shepherds think he is the Messiah. Uh, Adira, don't forget about the angels. Yeah. yeah. There were hundreds of angels singing about the birth of the Messiah. And an innkeeper confirmed again the birth of the Messiah. But in the stables? Yeah. Aren't kings, you know, supposed to be born in fancy palaces, eat the finest foods, wear clothes like you do, built as fire? But this dude was born next to all the horses and donkeys, and I don't think it smells that good. Well, you see, that's the real miracle. God is showing us that he can take an impossible situation and use it to bring him glory. Huh? So look, we are all born into sin, and the wages of sin is death, but God took this, uh, the situation that was meant for destruction and d turned it for our good. Yeah, I get it. The miracle is that God wrapped himself in flesh to save us from our sins. Yeah. The miracle is hope. Hope? But how do I get hope? You just have to believe that he is the Messiah, that this baby is meant to do the impossible. Easy for you to say. But why would he want to save me? I'm just a soldier. Well, you see, Mary was just a young Jewish girl with nothing special. But when God was choosing somebody to carry the baby Messiah, he chose her. Why? Because she said yes. So simply because she said yes, the impossible became possible. Whoa! This is the greatest thing that happened in history. We can't stop this miracle. We have to save hope. You're right. It's up to us to save this miracle. To the palace, soldiers.
announcing the King's Fearsome Warriors, Adira, Humber, and Lonzo. Well, finally, I knew you'd find this baby. Um, wait, where is this baby? Thanks a lot, guys. Well, Your Majesty, we don't have the baby. Uh. No! Why did you get the baby? We're doomed! All right, nobody ever has permission to call me dramatic ever again. Okay. <laughs> Soldiers, could you not find the baby? Well, we found him, but we're not gonna tell you. <laughs> See, Your Majesty, these are not fearsome wars. They've doomed the whole kingdom. Exactly, and that's why we didn't bring the baby. If we did, then King Herod would have destroyed him and kept the throne all for himself. That's not entirely true, but, but okay. Uh, well, maybe a little bit, but okay then. Why are you all protecting this baby? Well, we talked with the shepherds. We talked with the innkeeper. And the wise men, and they all confirmed again the birth of Messiah, who will bring hope to this dark world. And that it's our job to spread the good news to everyone. Yeah, he's the miracle we've been waiting for. I want to believe too. See, Your Majesty? Now they have turned Zyra, your royal advisor. You must get them. Guards, after them. Wait, what is Messiah's name? Emmanuel. Jehovah. Jesus. Let's go. 
time, can we put our hands together for this amazing children's ministry and children's choir? We are so thankful that you are here with us tonight. I want to go ahead and say some thanks right now to our choir director and assistant choir director. Come on over here, Adriana Easton and Isabel Perez. They work so hard to have our children learn all of these songs and put together things. Can you go ahead and clap your hands for our wonderful angel choir? Come on, moms, dads. Come on, scream out your kids' names. We love you. All of our wonderful soloists, we had David Lopez singing the solo on Christmas Day. We had Ashlyn and Addison Pitts singing He Who Is Mighty. We had Paisley McCarthy singing Anchored. And we had Jackson Schiltz singing Rejoice. What amazing talent and anointing we have in this group. For our royal advisor, Nesher, it is Gentry. Come on, Gentry, and take a bow. For Zyra, the other royal advisor, is Mariah. Go ahead, Mariah. We had one of our soldiers, Aubrey. Come and say hi, Aubrey. <laughs> Another one is Matthew. Come on and say hi, Matthew. And our last soldier is Victor. Oh, there he goes. Jackson has already left with the choir, but he played our amazing shepherd and the three sheep, Mackenzie, Elias, and Sophia. They were our sheep. We had an innkeeper. Her name was Jaden. She was up here. She's also one of the choir assistants. And now we have our wise man, which is Carson. And King Herod, Dallas. One more time, put your hands together for the amazing cast and choir. Awesome, awesome. So great to have you tonight. Also was written and directed by Sister Alicia De La Garza. 